I need it. A chance in the first frame, Barry didn't. Rather than screwed back. Well,我是不把局面还给了火箭。如果不是因为刚才带口碑的，我是不应该还给这么多难以顶分数。13 14 It's a bit wide, didn't it? But the pocket accepted it. When it's a brand new cloth, you can sometimes get away with those shots. They manage to slide into the pocket a bit easier than if the cloth is. What's my three, four days old? Twenty. Twenty one. <clears throat> Twenty seven. Concentration is nowhere. Yeah, and of course, Ronnie, one of those type of players. I mean, I was going to suggest a few shots. That's 47 
火箭先处理掉红球堆最外面的一层，这个局面在其他球员眼中绝对是太难了。但是看火箭处理起来，依然还是那么的轻松写意，行云流水。So analysis where he's going to have to trust a little bit to look for position. 角度微微向下，一杆带了一颗红球出来，但是效果似乎并不理想。如果这个红球右侧底带不够打的话，局势反而变得复杂。Second red, absolutely sublimely. So he wasn't really relying on a bit of luck there. He was controlled all the way. 这杆对角度拿捏的分毫不差，刚好顶开这个红球。Well, well, I mean, 顺利绕了出来，但是Well, did he play the cannon on the red? Where's the cannon? 到了大角，不但白球没有顺利下来，还陷入了摔带。现在火箭领先五十八，封面最高剩余五十九，还需要再打掉一个红球才能超分。三代直接拿下超分红球，老波随机把镜头对准霍金斯，霍师傅表面波澜不惊，内心实则早就慌得一批。这才第二局，一个复杂球形让奥沙利文顺利超分，把手感打了出来。那接下来的比赛，霍师傅将会举步维艰。This red goes past the yellow. <笑>一杆犀利远台，虽然白球贴库，但这丝毫不影响火箭的进攻。势在夺冠的火箭已经打嗨了。这样的一个进攻手感会给到对手很多无形的压力。A century in the semi-final against Judd Trump. Eighty. He wouldn't bet against it now. Eighty-one. There's been forty-seven centuries made already in this year. Eighty-seven. Bet for a world championship, and Ronnie has made seven of them. Eighty-eight. Just run a little bit. 选择了咖啡，看来是想顺便带一下颠覆黄球。没有成功，刚好绕了出来。But when he came to the table, John, it didn't look a century on, did it? No, not even a chance of one. This is a tough yellow to keep it going, but they never looked a chance of ninety odd. 黄球没进，奥沙利文这么精彩的一个乱局处理，未能完成过百。好了，本期视频就到这里，我是看看球的红凤，各位小伙伴记得点赞关注哦。